I'm unable to be the person that I want to be without getting stared at, without feeling pain, and I just can't. Psoriasis really isn't that rare. However, not a lot of people have it as severe as me. Psoriasis is an autoimmune disorder. Your immune system doesn't do what it's supposed to do, and it produces way too many skin cells. My name is Sabrina, and when I was 12 years old, I got diagnosed with a severe case of plaque psoriasis. It does not just impact your skin. The main side effects of my condition are fatigue, swelling, itching, burning, depression, anxiety, and then if you have psoriatic arthritis along with it, which many, many people do, you also have that um, swelling and pain in your joints. I'm a wife and a mother, but it affects my daily activities. I can't work because of it. I can't work anywhere publicly because people kind of stare at my skin. People were like, who's that girl that has all that stuff all over her skin? And why is she always tired? And why this and why that? I'm unable to be the person that I want to be. I want to be running around with my children. I want to be out there doing things in the world without getting stared at, without feeling pain. And I just can't. I'm stuck usually at home, if not in bed. I see her suffer sometimes and it's really, really hard to see her suffer like that because she's such a good person. I'm here to help the best way I can. He is the love of my life. I know that's mushy-gushy, but it's true. We first met online. I was very forward with him. I told him, I have psoriasis, I have a few health conditions, and he said, it doesn't matter. Uh, when we met up, he didn't even look, he didn't even care. If I'm anything in this world, I'm a mother. Uh, that's what I'm first. That's what I've always wanted to be, and I'm proud to be a mother of two little girls. Hey, Tinker. You're just determined to eat my hands, huh? With each pregnancy, I got way worse. Uh, I had the worst flare-ups of my life, and that's just because I wasn't able to take the medications that I needed throughout those pregnancies. And so as my pregnancy progressed, so did my psoriasis, and it kind of took up my entire life. Um, by the time I gave birth, I was in so much pain and so covered in psoriasis that I couldn't even hold my own children. The turning point in my life was when I had my first daughter, Sophia. She was amazing, and the first moment that I saw her, I knew that I had to be confident for her, um, stand up for her, and make a better world for her. If you're good, we'll have such a delicious lunch, and then we'll get some ice cream since it's so hot out. Yay! Yay. No? No, not now. Maybe later, though, okay? Nose? My children drive me bonkers but they also, I think, improve my condition. They make me happier. They take a lot of stress away um, just by being them, by saying, hey, mommy, I love you, or smiling or holding my hand, saying, come, come with me, let's go do this and go do that. Uh, they just make me so much happier. I like to keep a good sense of humor about everything um, and realize that you don't get to live but once. Um, or so I believe anyways, and you really just have to live the life that you want to. Whether you have a disease or not, you just have to go for it. If anybody thinks that you're not beautiful, move on. There's a lot to talk about how I'm proud of I am of my wife, Sabrina. She does amazing of everything she does. She copes with everything. I don't really feel like psoriasis is completely a part of me. The future holds a lot for me, I hope. I'd love to see the world and just adventure through life and kind of live freely with my family.